Hey guys, it's Pat from Pat's Brewery, and it's the giving time of year. That's right, I've been lucky enough to receive some beer mail and tis the season. Um, and it kind of just goes to show again uh, the, you know, the, the greatness that is the homebrew community with regards to people willing to, to send things out um, and, and share with each other. Um, as I say, I've got three packages received recently. Um, I got uh, first package received from uh, Big Banana. Um, we've got from him a red ale and a Imperial Stout. I then received a message from a fellow on Instagram, Callum from uh, Wet Neck Brewery. And uh, he sent me four of his beers, each different, each sounding really cool. So we've got the Plastic Paddy Red, Irish Red Ale. We've got uh, Bitter. Just Deal With It, a Pilled Ghost. And Is Your Neck Wit a Wit Beer? And then we've got a package from Rich at Dude's Brews, and he has sent me through Smells Juicy and Go West APA. Now, I am not going to be trying to drink all of these right now. I'm only going to be drinking one, um, and that's going to be the Red Ale from Big Banana. So let's pop these to one side. Technically, I've actually received quite a few more beers than what I've just shown you. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I have taken part in the Anglian Craft Brewers beer advent calendar and I've just picked up the beers just in time for December to, to have them. Um, let's give this a lovely pour. It smells good. So I will be doing some shorts. Oh, a little bit of a glug there. There we go. Oh, bloody freezing. Bloody freezing out here. Um, I haven't been, I haven't had to put the, uh, the beers in the fridge. It's that cold. It's, you know been uh, oh, hitting minuses recently. So anyway, let's have a look at the red ale. Now that is absolutely red. Lovely. A little bit of carbonation. Now, I did get sent the uh, the recipe so let's just have a little look on what's in there yep so on the malts we've got red x which i kind of expected and then centennial for all of the uh hops so effectively a smash beer really isn't it i know red x is a, a mixed malt technically but you know if you're buying it in one bag surely it's a smash all right uh so we've got centennial uh the boil 27 IBUs, uh, that's at 45 min, then 25 min, 30 grams for 21 IBUs. Centennial uh, in the hop stand, uh, 56 grams, then Centennial dry hop, 90 grams, three days. Uh, this was fermented with Cross My Loof, uh, California Common. Oh yes, oh yes, that is a very pleasant beer. I think, <clears throat> and no fault to anyone's but the weathers, but a smidge warmer <laughs> might actually allow me to get a little bit more of the flavors out of that, but 
Mm. That is, that's a cracking beer. It really is. I mean, I'm just getting into using uh, Centennial. Which I, I keep on saying things like, oh, I'm only just starting to use this. Right? My usage of hops, I am so far behind the curve. Um, you know, and I think that's because there's so many hops out there that you can spend so much time on a couple of them that you, you know, Centennial has been about for so long. You know, was it Centennial Super Cascade? Um, it's, you know, it's a great hop. I mean, a little bit of pininess, I think I'm getting, um, but perfectly good. Perfect. I, I think sometimes I hear the term piney in a, in a negative context, which I, I disagree with entirely. Um, <clears throat> mm. That's lovely. What's the actual percentage on this? I don't feel that it's super high beer, but 5.5%, high enough, high enough. Um, mm. That is nice, that is nice. Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. All right. Mm. So, just going back to <clears throat> the uh, beer advent calendar. Um, yeah, so going to be doing a short video for each day. Um, unfortunately, we only got um, 19 uh, submissions, so there are going to be a couple of gaps. Um, I think day six, there's a gap. Um, and maybe day nine or so. There's a couple, obviously. There's 24 <laughs> days uh, in the advent calendar and we've only got 19 entries, but it uh, doesn't matter. It's amazing because, you know, getting to drink uh, that many uh, different beers from different home brewers all in one go, kind of, well, not in one go, across, across the course of the month, um, I'm really excited uh, to do. Um, this is my first bit of involvement with uh, this uh, club um, just I mean they are a good hour drive away from us even at their closest meetup site so um, and they're on the wrong train line so I'm not going to be able to get involved with everything that they do but I want to try and get involved with a bit more because um, just like all you guys like to speak to um, on the internet uh, they seem like uh, a lovely group of group of people so you got to try and you know get involved with what communities you can so really looking forward to, to doing all this um, now here's something I don't know whose idea it was but my beer is number 24 talk about pressure talk about pressure Imagining that you have almost a month's worth of different homebrew provided by different people, and you go, that's lovely, that's lovely, that's lovely. Then you get to the last one, and you go, what the hell is that? And truly, I'm nervous about it, because, you know, it's that, it's that last gift before, you know, Christmas morning, and you, you get your vouchers for brew keg tap and the malt miller from your family. Um, oh, I know that's what I've asked for. But yeah, so I kind of go, I, I kind of feel a certain level of unease. Um, I did submit um, my last leftovers beer. I, <laughs> it was still good when, when I, uh, I bottled it. Um, it still had quite a lot of fruity flavours and aroma. Um, a bit of extra bitterness uh, was starting to show through. I still think that it's more like a perceived bitterness, not a true IBU. Um, I think that something that I've noticed in both of the beers that I used it, the IHO33 hop, um, which I'm sure at some point we'll 
get a fancier name. Um, it kind of has this kind of mouth kind of salivation generating activity and I think it kind of generates this kind of perceived bitterness. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm excited, um, I just can't wait. And uh, yeah, so I'll be doing some short videos, throwing them up uh, each day and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, cracking beer this, cracking beer. Um, just regarding the other beers that I have received, um, I'm probably gonna split them into a couple of videos. Um, yeah, just because I, I don't know um, how I wanna organize it yet. Um, oh. I think it might get a little bit boring if I just do non-stop review videos. I've done one brew day um, recently. Um, God, so much went wrong. So much went wrong. And uh, yeah, my valves got left open again. Um, I messed up temperature on the mash. Tried to compensate, compensate too much. Tried to get it back up to temperature. I, anyway, it has made me start thinking about other things, um, including a potential Herms coil. And there's also part of me that is thinking about building a uh, craft beer pie uh, control box. Just because my current one, although it's okay, um, gets the job done, uh, Electrically speaking, it could be better. Um, it does the job, it is safe, but um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like um, I, a, a new box probably could do with being built with extra safety things being put in place just in case. And if I'm going to be doing stuff like this, then I'm tempted to do something with a um, the craft beer pie has been interesting to me for a while. So it's another little project, which I like. I like doing little projects and stuff. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. That's a stunning beer. Mm. All right, I'm gonna finish this off camera and um, yeah, until next time guys, Pat from Pat's Brewery, thanking everyone that sent me beer, um, especially Mr. Big Banana for, for this one. Um, I'm gonna probably be saving uh, Imperial Stout for actual Christmas day. Everyone, start of December, let's uh, finish this year in style, eh? Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.